Morning everyone, this is Jeannie. On Monday, one of my coworkers has a birthday and I am the one in charge of making that special or extra special for her. So what I did was buy her favorite peanut M&Ms. No, not peanut M&Ms, peanut butter M&Ms. I don't know, I've never had them, but I'm sure they're delicious. And a potted plant, also some cupcakes that are out in the fridge waiting. I'll go in extra early on Monday and decorate for her. But what I thought I would do is take this wonderful little plant that we see here. Sorry, I'm getting used to this video. And see, it is in desperate need of repotting. So instead of just giving it to her, I thought I would take one of my already used in the past um, pots and clean it up and paint it. Her favorite colors are pink and purple. So I'll see what colors I have and we'll work on that a little bit later. Just wanted to give you a preview. Well, it took a little longer for the terracotta pot to dry than I had hoped yesterday. So now it's Sunday and I am going to paint it. I am not a huge fan of purple and um, pink. Well, I do like it, but it's not a color that I normally have. Um, but I did find these. So we've got this one, gloss, and then I found, because the flowers, isn't that pretty? I think I'm going to be able to add that in a little bit for accent. And then we have this purple one. So I'm going to attempt to paint this and see if I can video it for you guys, or at least part of it. Okay, here we go. Time to do a little bit of painting on our pot. I'm gonna start out here with the purple. I thought I would do the purple, actually it's called lavender, and the pink is actually called pansy. Um, let me see, no, that's not right. The pink is deep lilac. Isn't that interesting? It doesn't look like lilac. I'm gonna be painting the base of the pot with the lavender, and then I think I'll do the rim up here with the lilac, which I'm gonna call pink. I'm gonna paint that on. See, it's not doing too bad. I'm in front of a window, so it's a little bit light for you guys. My apologies. Um, actually, if I move over this way, it might be better. Adjust us. Let me see some more of my craft room. See, for a project like this, it shouldn't take too much time, although I think I will do two coats just for durability. And from the pots I've seen painted before, the inside is only painted a little bit down past the rim because you've got soil in there. So number one, you're not gonna see it. And number two, I don't know that it would be that great for the plant. See all the way around already, not bad. Smooth out these little lines here before it dries. Although the rustic look might be nice. A little bit textured. Don't know that Katie will actually care, but I do want it to look as nice as I can get it for her birthday. And do just a little bit of the bottom. Remember not to set it on the bottom as it dries, but set it on the rim. There we go. At the bottom now. Yeah, that's better. Is that better, huh? I know, you can't hear me, can you? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Just talking to myself. You guys do that when you do a project? Talk to yourself? Yeah, I think everybody does. Sometimes talk to the inanimate object that you're working on. Sometimes begging it to do what you want it to do. No, just me? <laughs> yeah. It can be so, I like painting. It can be so 
mesmerizing. You get to see, with paint you get to see instant gratification. Unless you're painting the same color over. So if you've got white walls and you're just putting a fresh coat of white on, not quite as satisfying. When you're changing it from terracotta to purple, very satisfying. Look how pretty that is. I'm just going back over what I've done already because it's soaking in. Should be able to do that and let it dry. So, it's going to be pretty, huh? I think that's good for now. Put that down on its rim and let me take, I had to add water to this, um, what they're calling lilac. So if I can get some of it to come out. No, it's too, too thick in there. Let me grab another paintbrush. I can get some out and we can just look at the Look at the color and see what we think. See, does that or does that not look pink to you? Looks pink to me. Get the rim. It kind of looks lavender or lilac in the video, but it's truly it's pink. And get to where that light is not quite so blinding. See into the inside here. Just down past that rim. Now look what I've done. I painted the rim that I was going to set it on to dry. Mm -hmm. And the bottom's also painted. Isn't that nice? Well, that's a little sarcasm on my part because, of course, it's not nice. But it dries so fast that I think by the time I'm done with this section, I can just set it on its bottom. Let this dry also. See, the bottom's pretty dry already. Probably should do that inner spot too. What do you think? Maybe. Just not right now. So down to the bottom. Paint the inside. All right, you're not going to be able to see that. Let's see. There we go.
Yep, some of this purple is still a little wet. I'm going to have to touch it up. I'm holding it. There we go. I think that'll do. Fix my brush strokes. Oh, it's for a plant. No one's even going to notice that, are they? pretty. All right, I will show you the next step in a bit. All right, it's time to finish up our little pot. I decided to go ahead and put some yellow dots on here. I've got a few done. And have you seen this trick before where you just take the end of your paintbrush, put it in your paint, and then dot it on? Let's see if I can put this where you can see it. Just like that, see? Makes little dots. It's random little dots for you. So that's what it's going to look like. When it's finished, I'll let you see it. While the dots are drying, I thought I would just paint the bottom here. I'm going to finish it off. And some of my paint is thick. I put my initials, and because the V turned out kind of fat, I made it a heart. And the year, just for giggles. Oh, sorry. And then once this last little bit dries, and the dots dry, see the dots just made them random. I'll clean up that edge a little bit. And once everything is dry, we will pot the plant. I'll show you what that looks like when it's completely done. There you go. Alrighty guys, here we go. There's Katie's gifts. I actually had a pink and purple gift bag, believe it or not. So there, get around here in the little pot. Super cute. She's gonna love it. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.